listen to this every single time I find a piece of gold or something better than rust, it sounds like this. In a dried up riverbed in the northeast of Victoria, I set about hunting gold with the SDC 2300 and a little bit of hope that I'm going to find a big old nugget. What's up guys, my name is Chris from Vogus Prospecting. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome and if you're an old moldy hat like this one, welcome back. Today I am back at the old river channel because I am obsessed with this place. Every time we come here high banking or panning, we find pickers and gold specimens. And I've got a gut feeling there's going to be some really big gold in this location. And that's why today I bought out the SDC 2300 to try and ping some of them. We have been using the Gold Monster 1000 and the Macro Gold Cruiser to try and do similar, but those machines only punch about four to five inches at best. The SDC will get up to two feet on a reasonable size gold nugget target. And we're gonna do it a little bit differently today. I'm not gonna extract every single target that I find. I'm just gonna get it out of the ground, put it in a bucket, and at the end of the day, we're gonna pan it out. That's right, we've got this turned up to five because I really want to find something golden. The northeast of Victoria is not known for big gold, and that means that I have to dig a lot more targets like nails and bullets to find those sizable pieces of gold. So what I'm showing you here is how to collect many targets in a very short amount of time to increase the amount you can dig and hopefully get one of those bits. AJ, you're perfectly yeah. balanced, mate. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> It literally takes two seconds to kick the dirt back in your hole. Don't be a jerk, refill your holes. These are nice sound on the SDC. That's different to a steel sound. It's probably a pull tab. Okay. Wow. Shoot or target? No, nope. I got it. It's in the bucket. I'm sort of hunting these erosion gullies. This, these are the product of a flood back in 2018 or 2017. And the erosion gullies just give us a bit more of a chance to get deeper. They also hopefully will have concentrated things, whether they be bits of metal or bits of gold. And I'm hoping that they're gonna give us more luck. That sounds like a tug. Look, it's a wild Allen. Honestly, 
I feel like I have to do Kung Fu against flies with my face right now. Okay, we have two targets. Got that one. Is there another one? No. It was just that one. This creek bed is absolutely massive. It's over a kilometre long from where it starts in the bush to where it ends up in the current creek. Our testing has shown gold along its entire length and it hasn't been touched since the gold rush days. So it's only a matter of time until we find a big old nugget. Dead rock looks good though. Ooh. Nice little woo. Mm, come on grizzly gold nugget. big whatever it is because it's deep. No, it's not lifting that stuff. Oh, Stumpy, I need a bigger pick. Like it is probably a nail, but what's got me excited is I'm on the clay on the bottom of this hole. So, maybe, maybe it's a piece of gold. Okay, kicked it up and out. Ah, oh, maybe not though. I just found it, it's an old lock. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's not gold, but it's history gold. Listen to this, every single time I find a piece of gold or something better than rust, it sounds like this. It's kind of hard to hear maybe, but it's a fluttering noise. Mm, I'm excited. And we're on bedrock. Unless it's that. What is that? Oh, it's got to be that. Ah, that's a steel cable. <laughs> I, don't I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out. <laughs> that steel cable is definitely our target. That sort of misshapen blob of metal will give that fluttery noise because it's like target, no target, target. So it goes woo -woo -woo over the top of it. Oh, that could just stay in there because that's really freaking heavy and I don't know how far, how far that way it goes. Cable or target? So you're there. Gold sovereign. Sounds like it. Okay, so it's on that edge. Somewhere. I found it! Oh, 22 round just rolling out of the way all the time. You're going in the bucket. Right, we dug probably 12 to 15 targets. I got a bucket three quarters full of dirt. We're going to put it in a pan, pan off all our nails and bullets. Hopefully there's some gold in amongst it because it is coming out of alluvial stream gold. So with some luck, we might pick up some flower gold.
like a nail. Alright, let's see. Let's see what was in here. Alright, we know we got one, two nails, so we'll get them out of the way. Was there any gold? That looks like a bit of lead, so that probably would have been one of our other targets right there. And we have got a little bit of gold, but it is some micro stuff, absolutely tiny nano dots. This is the first thing I've seen and it's not sinking because it's so wide, so we're just going to take that out and put it on the bedrock. We're doing the same for all these big rocks. Alright, let's find out. A reasonable amount of black sands come out from around those targets, which is nice. We just got those bits of lead, that's a that's a 22 bullet, so that would be definitely one of the targets that we got. I can't see no big nuggets though. And just just more of that micro micro stuff. You almost got enough for a house there. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Oh you need a little bit of timber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sticks. Damn! Damn it! Timber! Why didn't we think of that? Yeah. Well, this is our treasure after all that work. It only took us about 45 minutes to dig the targets and then pan them out. And I feel that's a lot more efficient than individually going out and digging and finding every single one of those targets. And because my area is not known for big gold, it means that increasing the amount of targets I can dig out of the ground a day gives me more opportunity to actually find a nugget. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case today. However, I am going to keep trying for the remainder of today before it gets too hot at least and with a little bit of luck I'll pull out some gold. Well, no huge gold nuggets this time, but we did find some flower gold that came out along with those metal targets. Which is actually a really cool trick to do if you want to hunt alluvial gold with a metal detector. Simply going out to a creek using a metal detector to find things like nails or bullets will often show you where the water pressure has dropped off enough for the gold to fall out as well. And so if you find a metal target in some old alluvial beds like that, take a sample from around it and more than likely you'll find a little bit of stream gold. The geology of my area is vastly different to the central gold fields of Victoria. We're about three and a half hours away from there and what it means is that we don't get a lot of big nuggets like they do. In fact, we're known for our fine flower gold. Reedy Creek, for example, is one of the richest alluvial gold streams in the entire world. So finding any sizable pieces is usually fraught with difficulty. Now I have found some really good bits. My biggest solid bit of gold was 3.81 grams. And even on the creek that we worked in this episode, I found a 1.58 gram piece. Specimen gold is quite common here. So whilst it's not solid pieces of gold, you might be able to pull out a fist sized rock that's riddled with fine gold. And these are the things we're looking for. The thing that's got me so intrigued about this creek bed is the fact that every time we get to the bedrock and every time we pan and sluice that area, we're finding specimens and larger pieces of gold than what we normally find in the current creek beds. And there's all the indicators that it hasn't been worked for over 150 years since the gold rush ended. So we're definitely going to keep going back there and with a little bit of luck, we're going to pull out a big booger. So I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please remember to give your dog a big scratch behind the ears for me. And until next time, epic music and an outtake. What's up guys? My name is Chris from Go... <laughs> Gogus Costco. <laughs>